Hello guys, welcome back to Nguru the Guru. Today we will be dealing with CTEs in Postgres SQL. So what are CTEs? CTEs are common table expressions which can be referred, they can be referred to as temporary result sets that you can refer to using other SQL commands like update, delete, select. And today we're going to show two examples of uh, CTEs and handle a few examples the examples and then the advantages and then we can call it a day so I have a database here mm, I have a database and in the database just go to schemas and then go to employees table so you just click on employees and uh, just click that together yeah so first of all let us just write the syntax so you need a width you also need the name of the of the CTE. And then you need a, an optional column list. This one is optional. The column list is optional. And then you need an as. This one now this is where you put the command that we generate the result. So what do we have? We can have a CTE query query definition. Because it's syntax, you can just put that there. So the definition, then finally, you need the, the statement that we reference. The statement to reference the, the above uh, query or the result from the CTE. So we can start with the first one. You can see my table employees has an employee ID. It has a first name, it has a last name, it has an email, it has an hired uh, department, gender, salary, and region ID. So what I would like to do is use the CTE to get the lowest paid employees. So uh, get the, uh, this is, should be that. I'm so used to coding, so <laughs> I'm doing the wrong comments so the lowest paid employee employee so what do we do we have the width then we have the name that we call it we just call it the lowest uh, paid uh, paid employee paid employee and then just the usual one I don't need the, the column list so just have the us and then now here I'll put the the command that should give us the the result set so what do we need to select from this table we need a first name first name what else do we need we need a salary I don't think we need anything else but then I want to use a case so that I can be able to group these salaries so I need to case it and last week we handled the case so if you haven't seen that you can go to our previous video and just check how to do case in Postgres and I believe you'll be all you'll be well so case when the salary is less than 100,000 that is I believe three zeros then what do we do let's say lowly paid we go to the next uh, one when the salary is greater than 100,000 I believe that's 400,000 then sorry then these are just aesthetics <laughs> well paid <laughs> and then I need an else for the case so anything else uh, just give them well paid because they definitely will not be below 100,000 well paid and then we, we need to end this so that is where we end the case and then we need to give this uh, this column we need to sorry I did not put that there that should be there we need to give this column a name so this case a name so we can call this a uh, salary level. I believe that will be right. And then from what table are we selecting the, are we getting this result? So from employees. 
So now this is a common table expression. Now what we need to do is select the data from the from the from the common table. So select do the first name. So the columns in the in that table. We do the first name, we have the salary, and we have what did we call this one? Salary level. Uh -huh, salary level. So salary level. Then from from should be now this uh, city lowest here. We just copy that. Lowest paid employee, and then you could uh, because we only need the lowest paid ones. We, we need the salary let's call level to be lowly this paid. So that is what we need it to be. So that we can get only the lowly paid employees. And then we can just order by first name so that we can have some order first name and that should be it. So when you're dealing with the common table expressions, ensure you run the query from the with statement all the way down. So let's see whether we got it right. Yeah, and we can see the, the result set. So there you go. We only get uh, the lowly paid employees. You got the funniest one. It seems like the data I have, everyone is uh, quite lowly paid, but it's all right. It's just dummy data. Nothing against anyone. So now let's handle the second question. So that was the first one. We did the syntax. Now we did the first question. So let's uh, just go ahead and do the second one. Mm -hmm. So what does the second question have? Get the highest paid employee in each department. So we're going to get the highest paid employee in each department. So here we are going to use window functions, but now with a CTE and the window function we're going to use is a rank. There are three window functions. We have the rank uh, function, which gives a uh, unique integers to every column. But now, for example, if we rank uh, by, by the salary, uh, every column will have, uh, no, every row will have a unique integer, but those that have the same salary will have the same integer, then it is keeps. So for example, if uh, the first two had uh, 100K and they both had 100K, that would be one one, but then the next one would be three. So it would skip two. Then there is a dense rank, that one doesn't skip. So that one, if there's one one, the next one is two. And then there, there is a row number, which uh, gives a unique integer to every row. So let's get started. So the same width, then we can call these employee salary ranks I don't need the column list so us because the column list is uh, it's optional so and then we need the select what we need uh, from the employee table first name I need the salary as well no I need the department because that's what I want to petition with so you can make sure and then make sure there is a comma before you go to rank so rank the usual window function needs uh, a partition by uh, partition by this is the different chunks of data so we have department partition by the department and i also think we could order order by the salary so that we get the in descending order so let's start from the highest the lowest and then after ordering by the salary now we need to give this a name so this we can call this salary rank I, I believe that would not do anyone any harm now we need to select this uh, CTE or common table expression so our statement will be s select and um, let's just do all from what did we call our CTE copy then put it there and then because we need the highest paid ones we only get those that have the salary that is called rank of one because uh, we only need the highest paid ones in the department so if I run that it seems like I have uh, an error somewhere let's see what that says 
first name does not exist uh, so it seems I misspelled it First name is salary. I think that's what I got wrong. Let's see. Oh, guys, I didn't put the table one. Just tell me. <laughs> sorry, 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 guys, sorry, guys. I did not put the table employees. Right now, we should be fine. I set up, yeah, nice. Now we should get only the highest paid in every department. You can see first aid, beauty, automotive, they are around 160 and 140, so it's between 140 and 150. Maintenance, camping, so we only get the highest paid ones. So that's all from me, guys, today. And if you do not have a background with the uh, window functions, you can check. Our previous videos on window functions we have done the rank we have done the wrong number we have done the case so just check on them and you'll be good to go have a nice day guys bye bye